Welcome to the Mass for Inspiration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My friends, we celebrate today the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time to prepare ourselves to celebrate our Lord's sacred mysteries, to make our prayers worthy before the Lord. Let us call to mind our sins and ask for God's forgiveness. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to and you, to my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the, in the highest, highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace to people, people of goodwill. Good we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whom, taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah went a day's journey into the desert until he came to a broom tree and sat beneath it. He prayed for death, saying, This is enough, Lord. Take my life, for I am no better than my father's. He lay down and fell asleep under the broom tree. But then an angel touched him and ordered him to get up and eat. Elijah looked, and there at his head was a hearth cake and a jug of water. After he ate and drank, he lay down again. But the angel of the Lord came back a second time, touched him, and ordered, Get up and eat else the journey will be too long for you. He got up, ate, and drank. Then, strengthened by that food, he walked 40 days and 40 nights to the mountain of God, Horeb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. 
Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the afflicted man called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and deliver them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with which you were sealed for the day of redemption. All bitterness, fury, anger, shouting, and reveling must be removed from you, along with all malice. And be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. So be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. O Lord. The Jews murmured about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And they said, is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? Do we not know his father and mother? Then how can he say, I have come down from heaven. Jesus answered and said to them, Stop murmuring among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My friends, there are times when we don't take Jesus seriously enough. Just as in Jesus' own day, people heard him and then dismissed what he had to say. You know, at times we, we Christians do the same. Maybe it's because we seem to be so familiar with all the things that Jesus said and did, all the stories of his life, that they don't make that much of an impression upon us anymore. Sometimes because we learned about all these things when we were children, we tend to kind of put them away with our childish days, 
as we put away the toys, the dolls, and the, the bicycles that we no longer ride, we, we tend to put away even the faith that we learned about. Sometimes maybe it's because life has become difficult. We've faced so many challenges, hard for us to apply the things that Jesus said, especially when we see that there are so many in the world who don't, and that's discouraging. All of these things tend to accumulate and make us a little less than dedicated, at times forgetful, at times doubtful of what Jesus said and did. But be that as it may, it doesn't change the truth. Jesus is the bread of life. He is the one true God come down from heaven. Many may not believe, many may forget. Many may dismiss it, many may walk away. But Jesus is the only way. He is the way that leads to life. He only has the words that make sense out of this life, that can bring us whatever happiness is possible in this life, and definitely what will bring us happiness in the next. We may have learned all these things long ago. Many people may not seem to believe or follow them, but let that not be us. Let us be firm in the faith that we have drawn upon all these years. Jesus is the life who nourishes us, that we will nourish ourselves with here in this Holy Mass, that we nourish ourselves with whenever we speak to Jesus in prayer every day, when we reach out to him in even the sacrifices and challenges of our life. When Jesus says he is the bread of life and all who believe in him will have eternal life, he means it. And with this faith, we can persevere. Now, let us renew this very faith. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe, I believe in, in one Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, only the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God, God from God, God light from light, true God, God from true God, God begotten, not made, made consubstantial with the, with the Father. Father. Through, Through him, him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in, in accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand, hand of, the of the Father. He will, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets, I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Believing that God is the source of all blessings and giver of all good gifts, let us offer him our prayers for all our needs. that the people of God may receive the Holy Eucharist with fervent reverence, respect, and deep devotion. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who speak with prophetic voices, calling national leaders to protect and care for human life, may remain courageous in the midst of opposition. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer that those feeling discouraged or disheartened may turn to sacred scripture and find in its message strength, comfort, and hope. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that we may imitate the example of Christ in our daily lives through kind words and compassionate deeds. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may now rest in peace and heaven. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we ask for blessings upon our lives and upon our dear ones whom we entrust to your care. Graciously answer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. The mingling of this water and come to share the divinity of God's himself. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have, this, we, have, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. With humble spirit and country, we are sacrificing your sight this day, be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash away, O Lord, my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. name for our, for our good, good and the good, good of all his, his holy church. church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and profess, profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until you, you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Benedict, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, in heaven Hallowed be, be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory, glory are, are yours, yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And always. with your spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only, only say, say the, the word, and my, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to be God. To God.